see from okay uh developer administration point of view service no administration point of view okay so in system it's not one or two groups so many groups will be there 15000 users okay close to 300 400 groups okay and plenty of roles plenty of roles okay now who do this job service no people will do the job correct first point service, service. yes yes uh, if we do the job and we need to spend half of our time only for this activity only group creation group addition group removal user removal permission removal and all first point okay second point is so think from different way okay not from this way think in a different way okay so i have a group here okay now adding users to this group just to think like this adding users to group okay who do this part till point till this point uh, we only do service no people only will do correct yes so if we do it how much work we will get it 50000 users are there so many people will be leaving changing their projects changing the company so who will manage it adding it removing it adjusting it and all so service no people service no people yeah that's <laughs> if we if service no people will do now when we do development and implementation this is support job okay and we are not l1 now we are l3 our job is very important job high level job not like this much of job so how you manage this one is okay you give this card particular manager or a kind of leader maybe in in our in other in other companies now you may have one more field called leader or something okay let's say we have manager we give permission to the manager who can add and remove the members to, from the group if i select abraham lincoln is a manager of this group he have access to add and remove the members from this particular group that's how we give him permissions why if somebody joins in a new uh, team team you know he can able to manage yes. instead of uh, contacting us so here the why two answers why one answer is we are reducing our work okay that is good okay silent way second thing is okay i don't know who needs to be added who needs to be removed because i am not the manager we are service now high level managers or high level uh, administrators like doesn't mean like you should have control of every group until and unless they request we will add or remove so instead what you say is this is your group and you can do whatever you want to do you add it remove it whatever you want to do you do it so we are passing that work to him first thing second thing is okay this group and this people okay have some common application okay so now he will do he will ask us okay this group is required this application so add this role so this part we do for this group level maybe i will add okay sorry i will add itl role or some other role some other role now this guy knows that okay he knows pretty much that if i add any member to my group he will be having this access okay now whenever he is adding or removing he should be very careful correct think 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 the other way something some word will come here governance okay governance is your responsibility not take responsibility is only doing your work but doing with governance is something like doing with uh, ownership correct um, is that correct statement yes sir okay yes sir so now he needs to he is governing it so that means he needs to do with responsibility what is the responsibility okay this group he is managing it that means whoever he hires it he removes it he should know that they are aligning with itl role first point so this is the reason we don't try to give by this way but this way so it is giving two advantages here one advantage is it is giving less work to us very good second thing is we are not owning owning that group activities you got that point my everyone is that valid point yes sir yeah so yes sir 
see now the more groups you have the more people will be having that kind of access and then they organize their groups licenses and all we only see here why one more important thing is now okay let it be let him add 100 people to the group what we what is what will what will be problem okay there is a problem okay when you are getting the service now instance okay service now is too costly now it's not simple tool if for instance they will charge for application they will charge for licensing they will charge for roles they will charge for count they will charge and now going forward if you create a new column something like let's say you create a new table something like this they will charge if you create a new column like street i i'll say cross sub street then for that also they will charge okay their subscription model is too costly now so how they will calculate is so for instance you brought the instance okay maybe 1 lakh rupee okay and when you say instance they will give you itsm image instant management problem management it is a free okay for that they are charging okay and also they will say i will give you 2000 users itl licenses itl role is there okay 2000 people IT, itl licenses okay five three apm licenses apm is too costly okay maybe 500 hr licenses they are all coming with 1 lakh now if you add so that means up to 2000 people can be here if you don't want to pay extra correct you are getting this point ma yeah okay now if you add unknowingly or unknowingly more and more okay it will impacting our licensing model also the group manager will not pay anything he can add 100000 2000 also but as we are plan- managing the part now we will be paying so when so our project manager will be in tie with the service now account manager every year they will review so let's say it it crossed okay it crossed to 2500 service now will come and say handshake and say very nice pay for next 500 licenses maybe each i uh, each itl license maybe cost something so extra money itl is little bit okay but if it is apm ppm kind of one license is 25000 dollar something okay so let's say there is a okay let's say like there is one group okay apm support group and apm application, application portfolio, portfolio management yeah portfolio portfolio are high level entities okay ppm means project portfolio okay so apm support group is there and uh, this person navin is handling it managing it okay and this one have a role attached to apm planner okay one license here is this much consider like uh, these are not exact numbers but i am just giving for information okay now every time navin you add or remove he should be having this one in mind you should not simply add and remove okay so we have five let's say he added five more then this budget it comes to us we need to ask him why you need it remove it if it is not required so as plan as part of service now user administration it's not only like users adding users removal okay user field creation not nothing like that this is the high level we also manage not you as a two years three years developer administrator but 10 years architect plot project manager they also will see these coins and they also monitor the numbers okay so let's say from my group okay so see here i will tell you one thing okay i am a group manager where is me okay let's say i am a group manager okay and i added 1000 people here okay let's say my group is very bigger okay and i need this application avaya is a very huge application for us and it, i know that itl people it, it grants itl licenses very good okay out of 1000 i added okay 1 100 people are already left the organization so this guy is inactive this guy is inactive this guy is inactive even though they are not in the system i am not managing my group properly so unnecessarily we are you are damaging the license count also correct yes, yes sir okay so this and all will come as user management user management is not on, sorry user administration is not only like adding and removing but this that is the po- point of this point like why the why is this is answer 
not only one answer ma see from global way like uh, the broader way clear everyone uh, yes sir one question yes sir inactive users will count towards the total licenses yes, or no for them no see here it will be like they will calculate they will pull a report like this so go to roles and then look for count here this count will not tell you whether this user is active or inactive you can add inactive user also here see here i will add an inactive user here intentionally i will add so see okay these are all inactive users in our in our organization okay i am adding jake so 68 should become 69 sarishna will come and say i don't care we have 69 people here pay pay for extra five Correct. Uh, Sir, one question here. Yes. Uh, we do not have any base in the administration where we can uh, configure. Okay, this whole. Uh, okay, we. Uh, I mean, let's say we have. Uh, we are entitled for thousand license. Mm -hmm. I can configure. Okay, we should not. I don't. I, I don't want to allow admins to go more than that. System will not allow even, or they give a error message. No, no. Or it is difficult to handle it because uh, roles are aligned with the groups now. So there are so many groups, right? So how we can. Uh, make it account on overall can you your business rule no ma the point is no we can do see if you want to do we can do but on what parameter you do like, okay so i am actually from bmc background okay uh -huh. so there we do have an uh, i mean admission can configure okay so this license okay this much is the count yes so if, uh, if someone is trying to add or that it will not allow it gives error message no that is a business so, fact no no see, they can configure the account manager in that case Ah, that way it. we can keep a gateway. Ah, that can be done. We can also do. But see, no, out of the box, is there any configuration no, no, like no, this? No, out of no. the box, no. We don't okay. have it. Maybe we can create an external one, and then yes. if, see in in few organizations where I see this, when you go to group or when you go to role, no, you you have one two two fields will be there. Toad available licenses, occupied licenses. Okay, then. If if available and occupy become equal, na, then it you get a error message stating that uh, or a, a, a email to the project manager stating that you are breaching the licenses. So make sure that you have the count in time, in in line. Okay, okay. so it's a customization. Uh, the customization and then group the project manager, uh, service no project manager, account manager needs to communicate and then validate and then see. On he will come and see. He will pull out a report and then see how many people are there here. Okay, how many groups are which are inactive, and then he will start cleanup process. Yes, that can be done, but yes. Okay, out of the box, uh, there is no solution, no, no, right? No solution. If the service no gives solution, no, they will be losing money, no? They'll be lost. Okay. <laughs> Think from service no account point of view, <laughs> not from <laughs> our client management. Okay, good. Now you all got to know why. Sir, sir, sir last question. Uh, group manager can add any role, right? No, he to the group? He, we don't give uh, him to add roles, ma. We do that because if he can add it, now it will be collapse. We can't manage it properly from service no point of view. So add group manager has only ability to add users only. That's users it. and removing users. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. We, Thank yeah, you. We should not give more privileges to anyone. Whatever the roles that they need, it we will provide them. Okay. So now this is the answer. Why? Okay, it is easy to think, but also you need to understand what is the actual uh, background of user administration. Okay, keep this one, and when you get a service now job, based on your profile, you may do simple additions removal or beyond addition removal. Okay, this knowledge will help you. Okay. So